Alright guys, it is me, Butterfly or Patrick back with another Black Ops 3 video as you can see by that title. I will be teaching you guys how to aim better and just have a better accuracy in the game. So, uh, let's get into this video guys. So basically, um, all you gotta go is go to options, go to controls and we're here. We're on the screen. First of all, we gotta go to the sensitivities here. Um, I go on a 7. I used to be at a 10, believe it or not. I used to be at a 10, and I just worked my way down slowly because, um, I don't know. I just like being in slow sensitivities. I don't know if I'm ever going to change from 7. I'll try 6 out, but if it's too slow, I'll go to back. I'll go back to 7. But if you're ever planning to decrease your sensitivity, always take it slow. Do not, like, do, fa do it fast. Change it fast. Um, for example, um, if you're at 12... Right, if you're at 12, you're playing on a game, you don't want to do 12 because, you know, you do pretty bad with that sensitivity. Then you go down up to uh, 7, you don't like that, and then you go go up to 10 after one game. No, you, you shouldn't do that. You should do it, like, maybe for, like, 3 days at least, or 2 days. Try it out for 2 days or maybe even a week, maybe. I don't know, but just take your time with it. Don't do it every, change it every match. It's pretty... That's a very bad habit there, so try to avoid that. So, uh, but I do recommend going at around seven to uh, four, between that four or seven sensitivity. It's pretty good. But, but if you're a person that likes fat, like high sensitivity, and you know you you don't like slow sensitivities, go ahead. That's just you. No one's gonna judge you for that. I'm not gonna judge you for that. That's that's just how you like it. So, uh, uh, next controller vibration. Um. You know what, this is very optional. I know people say that to always turn it off, disable, disable it, it's annoying, it gets your uh, shot ticked off, it messes up your shot. Um, I know, you guys, I, I mentioned him before in my previous videos, Joel, um, that guy has vibration enabled. And that guy gets a lot of moabs, like goes on high streak, so I don't know, that's just how he is. It just depends on the person, if you like it vibrated, that sounded very wrong, but you know, if you like the controller vibration, uh, go ahead and enable it. If you don't, disable it. It's just whatever you want, but uh, target assist, always enable that. Aim assist, enable that all the time. Button layout, uh, tactical. I go tactical um, because I get to drop shot faster and the only thing that sucks about it is I can't really attack faster. That's the only thing that sucks. If you have a scuff controller, you have those pads at the back of the controller. That's really good. You can put your melee button back there, so you don't really have to go to your to this uh, press the circle to melee. So uh, the only advantage here is uh, I could prone a lot more rapidly, and for example, drop shotting like that faster. Um, but I can't really like knife faster. I'm gonna have to always stretch my thumb to the circle if you're planning to get a scuff controller always put the knife the knife option at the back of the pedal uh paddle um either one left or right you can put it either one all right so that's that and uh so next under that there's the l1 r1 and the l2 r2 that's basically the fire weapon and the ads um i you know what again it is really your choice if you're used to you know, if you just moved from the Xbox and you're used to, from I don't know what's called for the Xbox actually, I forgot, but I'm just gonna call the R2 and L2, the, the back pedal buttons. Um, if you're used to that from the Xbox 360 and, or Xbox One, if you sold your Xbox One, um, go ahead and keep it if you're used to that. But if you're not um, and you're a former um, PS3 owner or not a former, you still have a PS3, but you can but you moved from the PS3, go ahead and uh, keep it. I like how they uh, also added the L L2 and R2. So that's pretty cool of uh, Treyarch to do that. It's pretty awesome. So the second and last tip actually, this is going to be pretty short. What I actually do before I get online to play, I'm going to recommend this to you guys. So you just don't hop on online and you know, f you know just try to be the best player in the world. What I do is I go on custom games, I pick any map, I usually pick Nuketown or, or a small map. Um, I usually go Nuketown, I put on bots, like maybe 10 or 9. I put them on Recute, and I just practice aiming. I just, 
I run around, kill them. I probably play team deathmatch. Um, you can make the score limit whatever you want. Or just kill them. You know, just practicing my aiming, practicing getting me my, yourself or my, or myself warmed up. My bad. And you know, that, that's just what I do before I play uh, pubs. All right, guys. So that's gonna be a video. I hope you guys did find this video very helpful. If it if it did, okay. Uh, go ahead and leave a like and also if you want to see more Black Ops 3 videos and any many more other content to come Go ahead and subscribe. Yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video